you know, we're in Italy. He was a strange looking person. And I thought, uh, okay. And I looked around just to know that he was belonged there because I, he came out of nowhere. He said, Papa. And then um, somebody said, knew that I was a little perplexed with oh, what to do. They said, it's Jared. <laughs> no idea. He was not anything I had ever seen before. He was a total different person. I've never seen that. I mean, that's one thing people put makeup on. It's one thing. He is the person they made him up to be. And I just bowed to him. And I said, when I see genius, I have to just bow. <laughs> You've made my day. You've made, I, I, I want to go do this film now. I want to work. Oh my God, it was inspiring. The way Wrigley Scott takes it, he makes it, brings it up. He gives it a kind of uh, energy and 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 drama and humor, and it makes it. My, he's a great filmmaker. Wrigley Scott is a great filmmaker. It's about a lot of different things, and and it's about uh, trust. And, and betrayal, it's about uh, uh, um, um, adultery and about an, a kind of feeling of reaching the heights and, and then how things change, how they, um, how they manifest, how they, um, they mature and then they go back and it's about uh, a world that, uh, for some reason, I think, is identifiable. You can identify with this world, even though you, it's exotic in its own way. Yet, the emotions, the feelings, are very identifiable. You immediately know what's, feel it. Jeremy Irons plays Rudolfo, and I play Aldo Gucci, and we're brothers, and we own Gucci. It's ours. Our father started it, and uh, we uh, are carrying on, and and uh, it's a, it's a, a it, 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 in the '90s it was really it it had a, a phase in the '80s. You know how those things fluctuate. And it was doing well, and uh, the business was uh, prosperous, and also the nature of the material was uh, was sometimes a bit jaded, and yet it was Gucci, and it was uh, it had made a made a great name for itself, and its 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 quality was way up there. At the same time, Aldo was trying to keep it afloat and the competition came and all that. And the two brothers are different. I think Rudolfo tends to be more artistic and stays back and is, doesn't have um, the, he, he doesn't get caught up in the avarice and he stays, keeps himself a distance and, and Aldo is much more oriented to the world and what it requires in the competition and is always looking for a new angle. He's in the family and he loves his brother, he loves Rudolf. They love each other, but they are aware of their differences. So if you were to say uh, that Aldo is the person who knows the business inside and out. And uh, he prefers, he feels more comfortable outside running the show because he knows that Rudolfo has a good control of the, uh, the insight. He still has ideas, comes up with them all the time.
And he has this son, Paolo, played by Jared Leto. And Jared is, um, and, and Paolo is, who knows? Yeah, you know, I, I can say the character in the film is played more or less, uh, um, he, he's not on, on the, the, the brightest bulb on the shelf, although it, it, I don't like making that determination, but he is different and he's awkward at times and is, uh, can be easily uh, manipulated. And uh, so uh, that's, that's his, almost his Achilles heel, almost Aldo's Achilles heel. He knows it, but he has great love for his son. Patrice is the one that Lady Gaga plays. She made that character. And that's how everybody's going to think of this woman, because of what she did. How she, uh, she expresses it and opens it like, well, any great actress would do. I mean, it's hers. Talk about owning something, it's her, it's hers. This is so different from what she did with Stars Born. It's different, totally. So that's going to be a revelation. You'll see it. It's great to see. You know, she's a star is born, a great actress is born. It's amazing. Oh, the great uh, uh, Adam Driver. He's great. I don't understand how he does these different roles he does. I mean, I mean, he's, I mean, he embodies a role in such a way. And he brings another, he brings a dimension to the film that in some ways lifts it and grounds it at the same time. You know where you are when you're with Maurizio. It, there's a, a level that he plays on it so individual, his own thing, and, and he, he brings that kind of um, solidarity to the film. You know where you are, but it's a great performance, I have to say. It's, it's again, nuanced, very nuanced, and subtle, but it's why you go to the movies, really, to see that. I was very, uh, very taken with it. It's interesting when someone who has such natural gifts, I mean, the talent he has, the, just the sense of things, and he's been doing it for 50 years. 50 years. So he's learned, he's learned a few things, but he's out there, and he goes for it, and uh, he's got a great energy, of course, and he helps you. He really, truly helps you. You're doing a scene, and he, he says to me, oh, okay, um, yes, Al, yes, yes. Well, why don't you do this? Do the scene from the middle and do the first part at the end. And it, you, you think, nobody has ever said that to me. I've never heard that said before. I don't know what to do. This is crazy. And you do it, and it works. So, you know, after that, it's, it's, it's someone who, who's, uh, it's like he's magic. He does magic, and he shoots with four cameras. What's, what's better than that? 